All right, ladies and gentlemen, Cutco Mike here. We're gonna do a really quick video on the differences and the options of all the Cutco cheese knives. So this is one of the fan favorites, probably one of the most popular Cutco knives of the last decade. Reason being is this micro DD edge. So Cutco's got the famous DD edge, which I'll show you a really quick picture of. So the normal DD edge has three little razor blade type edges in between each tooth. Now the micro DD edge is that times two. So think of that edge, the original Cutco table knife, steak knife, trimmer knife edge, twice as many teeth. So twice as sharp, twice as amazing, twice as versatile. So this is definitely a fan favorite. It started with the rubberized grippy cheese knife. So this is a part of our gadget line. Um, a decade plus ago, and we had so many customers request getting a cheese knife in the nicer Cutco thermal resin handle. So it started with the rubber Cutco grippy cheese knife, and I will say this is still a great one to have. This one here is the lightest knife we make, so it's very lightweight. If you have somebody who's maybe got carpal tunnel or arthritis, or if it's an elderly parent or grandparent, this is a very easy knife to hold and use. Uh, it's got the same steel quality, same edge sharpness and retention, but the lightness of this, you can't see in the video here, but is very, very easy to handle and easy to use. So if you're just like, hey, I want to collect them all, I want to make the best choice, the rubberized one is if you probably never want to put it in a block because it does stand out and look kind of funky. Let's just kind of show you here. Like if you did have this in a block, some people care, some people don't care, but obviously it doesn't make the cut go set look any prettier but it's still a Cutco quality. So I will say this, uh, the rubberized one is our least expensive version of the cheese knife, uh, but the quality of it is amazing. So after the grippy cheese knife was made, they did come out with the three thermal resin handle versions, right? So the thermal resin handle, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically similar to like a bowling ball material. It's high impact. It's got the nice wedge lock, uh, Thomas, Lam, Thomas Lamb handle and uh, it just really looks good. Uh, it's very pretty, very elegant, and does pretty much anything and everything you can think of. So the Cutco, the traditional style cheese knives really um, are a must have. So because these have become so popular, and don't think of cheese only, Cutco is so famous um, that you can use it for so many different things, tomatoes, potatoes, grapes, sweet potatoes, onions, corn off the cob, summer sausage, salami, hard cheese, soft cheese. So what Cutco ended up doing a few years back is coming out with two mini versions. And the mini versions have a paring knife size handle. So this handle is actually gonna be the same size as our paring knife handles. Uh, it's a lot smaller, a lot skinnier of a handle. So a lot of people like this one here, this is the Santoku style. So you can actually use that tip and actually kind of drag through. So in all the other ones, it's a, a blunt rounded tip, uh, but this is the only cheese knife which you can use to drag through. So if you have peppers, jalapeno peppers, sweet peppers, yellow peppers, you have celery, you have something where you really want to use that tip, this is a great feature. But most people love our Santoku, our five inch Santoku knife. So if they love that five inch Santoku knife, you gotta get the Santoku cheese knife just because it's such a fan favorite. So to finalize the Cutco cheese knife family, you have the mini cheese knife. And yes, it is called the mini cheese knife because it is literally a mini version of the cheese knife. So this one is great if you're gonna have a cheese board or a, um, a cheese platter, something you wanna set out, very easy to handle, very easy to use. And if you just like pairing knives, it's a great size paring knife, cheese knife. So it's great for grapes, great for cheeses, great for small tomatoes, small kiwis, limes, lemons. So all the cheese knives are great. Most people do collect them all, and most people do give these out as gifts because it is the most versatile and most popular style cheese knife on the market. So one thing I will say is with the cheese knives, they do have the ability to do a custom logo. So if you can see on the tip there, we have GNW Sausage, they're famous in St. Louis for selling sausage and giving out Bush Light uh, beer when you come in. But if you like run a little small business or a big business or a company, or just wanna get somebody a nice housewarming gift or a nice Christmas gift, the cheese knives are definitely where it's at. We do wish they would rename them non-stick knife or low drag knife or utility knife because they are more than a cheese knife 
but hopefully this video taught you a thing or two. Thanks for watching. Oh, one last thing. They do make a sheath, but the sheath does not work on the rubberized one because the way the molding is. So it does only work on the actual thermal resin handles and it's too big for the um, smaller cheese knife. All right, so reach out if we can ever help. Talk to you soon.